Yes. Yeah. I still don't like that. <laughs> I think I need to do something different at the start of my tapers because it seems like one side gets in to a pretty nice angle and the other one barely angled at all. Anyway, this isn't moving so well, so back to the fire. wobbly, that one just kind of curves slightly, that one's fairly straight, no, no, it's kind of canted at an angle too, and, hmm, the center is pretty well centered though, and the, the edges kind of spiral towards it slightly, hmm, what does that tell me, that should tell me something. That face for sure had the hammer at the wrong side, because or at the wrong angle, because the opposite side is flat where it was pressed up against the handle. But then this side is canted at an angle, like I had my the bottom of the hammer too far down. Hmm, that's kind of what it looks like on that side too. Eh. The problem with following the uh, crooked lines is that then your octagon ends up crooked. I wonder if I have enough, enough heat left to planish it round. <laughs> Finish your sentence before you start making all the noise. so far pretty even there or even pretty uh, well centered there uh, slightly off kilter there not too shabby fairly well centered there this one's a bit longer than the others what about a quarter inch over so the worst one today is down to uh, about where the best one from the other day was. <laughs> Trying to keep the blows pretty even on that one from side to side. Did not seem to help. But I also noticed as I was rolling, I was changing my angles a bit on my hand. So I'm suspecting that might be the main culprit. 
how best to counteract that, I haven't figured out yet other than more practice. Which my impatient nature is grumbling about. to have a cold chip break off and not go, you know, rocketing towards my eyeballs. That I've heard is their favorite pastime. Looking at it from the very top, looking at it straight on, it doesn't look too bad. From the sides, if you get the right angle, but for the most part, the diagonals all wobble one way or the other. Okay, I think I need another heat to clean up the mess I just made there. And this one will be running long too. Center's kind of hard to tell with the broken tip there. Take that as fate telling me to stop futzing with this one and get on with it. Get on with it! Not futzing with it, I'm straightening the bar, don't go jumping. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this one is definitely not centered. Of course, yeah, and just a little bit too long. Nope, I already said I'm not going to do any more on that. But yeah, it really shows you have to, I guess, keep focus. Don't let your brain wander. I think it's getting close to time for some food for me. So my brain isn't quite as on the ball as I would like. But yeah, I completely forgot, I guess, that I hadn't finished the square before I started the octagon. And in a lot of ways, I think that messed me up. Though, 
it honestly doesn't look much worse than the ones I've been doing otherwise. Though it is a little more off-center. Oh well, cut it off and on to the next. Once again, I have one set of tapers coming in thinner than the others. Though I have to say, these ones are a lot more square than they have been, which is nice. Hitting these areas where it sort of gets pushed out and bulges. Hmm. Yeah, it's from the octagonal bit, it seems. A lot of it, anyway. Alright, let's see. Kind of centered, and eh, not really centered. Alright, more heat. Let's try this at a lighter heat so I don't move as much. Looks relatively nice from there. Doesn't look bad from above either. Still leaned a bit. But despite the uh, irritations, not quite as much. Could stand to be a little rounder near the base. Alright, we'll cut that off and... I suppose that was a pretty abrupt cut right there. Turns out I kind of apparently forgot to record the seventh taper I made. And as I was looking back to see if my camera had cut out, like where did it end, I discovered that I missed either four or five as well. So I decided rather than, you know, fire up the forge and get it back warmed up to make a few more, I just, uh, be happy. These came out so much better than the last ones. As you can see, they're all a lot closer in size, uh, first to last. The last one is even almost the exact length I wanted. A lot of them are leaned a little bit. At the same time, it's not quite as dramatic as the last one, or the last set, I should say. It's improvement. It's definitely a step up over the first day. It's one of those things. I kind of feel like I should do another practice set. But I really just want to jump in and get to work and make the fun stuff. 
I have to say, there's a certain level of nervousness too. That old story that people tell, well, that I've told myself, that I'm a very bad craftsperson. I've never really stuck with anything long enough to build proficiency with it. All of my work has been amateurish. I see that amateurish work, I compare it to people who've been doing it for many, many years, and I think, oh man, I'm terrible. I suck so much. But I have to wonder, who, who would I compare to with these? How many blacksmiths who can measure their time blacksmithing more accurately in hours even than days, and definitely not years? Nobody's showing it. It's progress. It's a step in the right direction. We're just getting started on this journey. Thank you for joining me so far. Please leave a like if you like. Don't if you didn't. Leave a comment. How's your journey going? Are you enjoying this one? Have a wonderful day. All right, let's talk to get it.